So the moment you are going from just hitting the damn button and going live, which is a perfect way to start, and then wanting to step up your game, getting the gear, getting the lights, getting the camera, and really wanting to step up your live streaming game, suddenly you run into the issue of, but I need an overlay, and I want a background, and I want this, and I want that. And that's what we're talking about today. Simple graphic design for live streamers. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you are ready to streamline your business, to skyrocket your sales, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I go live. And today I want to thank Restream.io, the multi-platform live streaming software that I use to go live for sponsoring this video. Restream is an amazing company and an amazing tool that wants to make your life just as easy as I want to make it, which is why we have teamed up and why they are bringing you this video today to make your life easier, to learn how you easily can build graphics for your live stream and not spend hours on Photoshop and figuring all this out. If you want to check out Restream, check the description below after the video. I also have a coupon code there for you. Yes, right in the description. But first, let's dive into graphic design. If you're going live from your computer, you probably want to have your branding on it in case somebody else uses the video or plugs it in somewhere. You might want to showcase your speaker more than just the tool allows you, or you want a background, or you want an overlay and have a nice frame, all of those things. And suddenly you are like, okay, I either am I going to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to hire a graphic designer and get this done, or I figure out how to do it myself. And you don't even have to figure it out how to do it yourself because we already have templates. As I showed you in my last video, right there, I do have custom templates right here in Easel because Easel is the tool that I use to do my graphic design. It makes life so easy. But this is again another step up. I have custom graphics. Now, Easel loves you just as much as Restream and I love you guys. They have templates ready for you. They even show you from pre-roll video templates to countdown stuff, backgrounds, to lower third, to all the things, and they're right in your Easel account. So at the end of this video, go below, go click the Easel button, check it out. They have their free trial. When you are in Easel and you go into templates and you type in the search overlay, you will find a collection of multiple different live show overlays, background and thumbnails. When we go in there into one of those, there is multiple setups in here. You've got the thumbnail right there, another version of the thumbnail or if you put a gradient over this this could be a background you got the overlay you got a session title so in between you can pop up a full page image to give the next session title to give the next chapter whatever it is a right justified overlay a frame another version of a frame an end screen it's all right there. Now, this is the perfect way for you to get started with simple graphics. Because what we can do is, first off, right here, you might want to showcase your guest. Now, in my case, I already have images uploaded with the guest headshots. And as you can see, we have Rob right here and we have Rob without a background. Now, when you upload images into Easel, they do have my images right there. They do have the capability of, first of all, sorting all of your stuff in folders. So start a guest headshot folder with all of your guest headshots in it. And as you can see, those have backgrounds right now. If I click over here, I can just remove the background. And their rem background removal tool is freaking amazing. Just saying. So that's how easy you can just grab your speaker's headshot, remove the background, and then just plug it in. So let's go back to the template. So we just take her out, go into our images, go grab one of the headshots I already have ready to go from Rob. We just grab Rob's headshot, drag it over, resize it how we need it, make him fit in there, 
I'm not gonna go into all the nitty-gritty of aligning your images right and doing things right. You can watch easily on that one. There is so much that comes with this. Now, I do have my own fonts with my brand. One thing you wanna pay attention to is stay consistent. You wanna move things up, like move it from the left to the right, switch sides of text and image, but you really wanna stay with the same fonts and the same colors. In my case, right now, this is the template font, but I need my brand font. Right there, done, that easy. And my secondary brand font actually is the Railway. There we go. Handwritten font is always nice in between. And the same with this, that peachy color is not quite my brand. So let's go with the red and then we grab that one, switch that to my orange. And I don't really care for that yellowish background. As you can see, I'm in the whole image now and I just swap that out to the plain white. Now we need to adjust this one right there. Let's do that. Hold, not the font. Let's do that. I have an off-white. Let's do that with the off-white. And ta-da! That's how easy the thumbnail is updated with my font, with my colors, with my images done. And you can just go through there. Everything is really this simple. Click in it, you want the overlay. I already have the theme color set up. I'll show you in a second how to do that. Condense, we would need to make this font a little bit bigger. Let's try 85, there we go. Adjust how you center this. We need to make this my railway font. Let's make that my, my brand color orange. I think Annette would agree with keeping the handwritten font and make it the white. And there we go. That's how easy you can build graphics in easel for your live stream. It's really just that simple. And looking at the templates that they have, so going back into templates, there's easel templates and there's also your team templates. So once you have your own templates, you can save them in here as your own templates and you don't have to rebuild them or change everything and you just work off those templates. So searching for the overlay, there is so many different variations where we have that cross shape, triangle, left bottom to top right kind of thing. More of a gradient color in here with more circles in it, some angled things some um, of this Crayola pen thing kind of look, which I actually really like. I just don't know how to name it. This is a little bit more, I don't know, I wanna say corporate, a little bit more young. There is so many different, look at this. They have added so many different overlays. And if you join the challenge in January, you are going to get your own custom overlays that are not even in here. Easel is building us custom overlays for the challenge that I am running in collaboration with Restream and Easel in January to bulletproof your live stream. So make sure you jump into the description and sign up for the waitlist. One little pro tip at the end, when you go into brand, set up your brand, add your brand colors in here, add your brand fonts in here, Plug in all of your different logos so you have the assets ready to go when you are customizing and building your graphics in Easel so you can easily and simply go live streaming and restream. I'm like, Easel and Restream is a match made in heaven. Easel allows you to easily do all the graphics, update the graphics and pull them, download them and pull them into Restream. And then Restream allows you to schedule all of these assets Go live on multiple platforms at the same time. Track your comments and pull them into your live stream. I'm like, those two is a match made in heaven for live streamers. So if you do not use them yet, go into the description, sign up for the trial with Restream, sign up for the trial with Easel, and join the waitlist for the challenge in January where I'm walking through this process with you, help you set all of this up, and get you going live in a total pro version in January. I'll see you there.